And while some are doing their talking with protest signs outside BPD headquarters, another local demonstrator is adopting a different strategy and a softer tone in her push for change. Our Robert Price sat down with the organizer of another unrelated demonstration set for this Wednesday, and he filed this report. For four straight nights now, upwards of 300 people have demonstrated in front of Bakersfield Police Headquarters. But is there another way to express dissatisfaction with the status quo? I talked to one Bakersfield woman who took a different tack. For four straight nights now, upwards of 300 people have demonstrated throughout Bakersfield, peacefully, for the most part, in support of protesters throughout the country, many of whom are in much more volatile situations. Their message, the death of George Floyd, killed by Minneapolis police last week, is indicative of a historically persistent problem in America, a systemic devaluation of black lives. Now, across the country, thousands are taking their anger to the streets. But now, counter-protests of a different sort, prayer vigils, a solidarity walk, and a different kind of protest organized by this woman. Meet Crimson Sky. Yes, that's her real first and middle name. Singer, songwriter, Just a and the impetus behind an awareness campaign that kicks off late Wednesday afternoon at Mill Creek Park. She's calling it a Black Lives Matter sit-in. But she says everyone's welcome, all races, kids, dogs, whatever. I feel like now is a time for everyone to speak, not just black people. This is just a time for everyone to speak. Crimson Sky said she simply had to do something to foster cooperation and ratchet down the noise. Draw some conclusions, but sometimes the conclusion can't be drawn and you have to keep, keep, keep taking in information and keep learning and, and keep growing. Crimson Sky says the first step in repairing our society is simply sitting down together and talking, literally and figuratively. In downtown Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News. And now we head back to tonight's 17 interactive feedback poll. We've been asking, should the U.S. military be deployed because of the protests and riots? With more than 1,600 of you voting tonight, 69% of you say yes, while 31% say no.